Laura, uh, really happy that you're here. Uh, I know that you have uh, crossed much terrain to get here. Um, Laura's been forging her way in this business as an insider, an outsider, uh, a square peg, an incredibly talented designer, president of the DNAD, um, incredibly important both to creatives, to women, to digital people, to the industry, to independent agencies. And now she has her own place called Mr. President, and she's going to finish this off a little bit on bravery. Thanks, everyone. Um, firstly, I'd just like to say that uh, it's been absolutely incredible to be on this panel. And although it sounds like we're saying completely different things, actually, I think we're all saying the same thing. Um, secondly, I'd say I brought some T-shirts. I'm saying that at the beginning because I'm going to get all emotional on your ass now and I might forget. So please come and help yourself to a T-shirt afterwards. But um, right, so bravery. You might know this piece of work. It uh, did really, really well a couple of years ago. So, that idea took real bollocks. That agency has massive balls. My creative director is a total pussy. Don't be such a soft cunt. Our industry is in desperate need of bravery, but has the wrong angle on it. The opposite of bravery isn't weakness, it's laziness. Um, and there is a way of being brave and uh, we, Colleen and I were talking about it, sort of the, the smiling assassin approach, but there's a way of being brave and true and being a strong leader, basically without being an asshole. So it really is an honour to be here, as I say, uh, alongside these guys, um, all of whom I know and respect and are brilliant. And I'm standing alongside them to tell you about my own personal experience and vision of bravery. So you might say, I've been brave to dream of being a creative director, having ne never studied advertising or design or English or anything that could be vaguely useful in the industry. Uh, brave to be a vocal woman in a sea of men. Brave to have been making and coding innovative work for about 20 years before it got cool. Um, brave for studying, she says. Brave for running Kant Festival on the same week as Cannes uh, every year. If you can't go to Cannes this year, please come to Kant. Um, brave for sticking to my principles. And more recently, brave for starting an agency in a climate where the networks are squeezing the life out of all of us indies. But it doesn't feel like bravery when you love what you do and have a powerful and visceral vision of the future. I'm brave because I think we all have to be. As Cindy Gallup said, a cowardly industry has no future. And I think there's a lot of cowardice hiding behind uh, kind of a false sense of bravery here. I'm brave because I'm impatient for change and I believe you must be the change you want to see in the world. This drive to make things better is the principle that's driven every decision I've ever made. The reason I started my first agency while still at uni and the reason that I've thrown myself headfirst into the unknown over and over again. It's the reason I still actively make work rather than just uh, bringing home a mega salary for sitting in meetings about meetings. Um, creating positive change is my own personal measuring stick of success, be it for a client's business or for the sea of faces in front of me. It's the process through which I've learned to trust myself and my decisions. I'll take the balls off. You can have some static now. Um, and push so hard for bigger and hairier challenges, but there's nothing I want to change more than the industry my, uh, ourself. So a misplaced sense of bravado has given us advertisers a reputation for being sociopaths. Just search what's advertising on YouTube and see thousands and thousands of school projects on how we're fucking the world, screwing society, always choosing the selfish path for us and our clients and being assholes. When I speak with students around the world, the first thing they ask is how I balance working in advertising with having any kind of moral compass whatsoever. And these are students who are actively studying at some of the best advertising design schools in the world. They want to be us, but they hate us. Right? And no amount of this kind of historical dick swinging, kind of alpha male bullshit, has changed this view so far. The traditional madman style good old days just fill me with bile. I just think it's like the worst representation of our industry. We're obsessed by huge amounts of money, success at any cost, eating up the world with our insatiable hunger for the new over the right. We use the aggressive language of the angry alpha male, like bollocks, balls, pussy, cunt. We scream, we're great, notice us, love us. Pat us on the back and buy us a round of drinks, losers. We make a big noise. And we mistake big noise for big cultural impact. We're like an angry show pony or a drunken brawler. Our industry's broken, and unless we all get behind the change, our talent pool, voice, and relevance is going to dry up. 
when those that can create the change leave advertising and decide they're better off at a startup or at Google, which is happening in droves at the moment, we risk being the backwater for the not so brave. So, when I was diving into my own experience about being brave, it came down to this. Don't be a dick. You are better, all of you, than the version of the industry that we perpetuate. Be brave. Get off your high horse. Don't ask anyone to do anything you wouldn't want to do yourself. What is that all about? Roll your sleeves up and get working. You can do better. Don't be a dick. Be honest with yourself. You might be a better creative than a leader, and that's OK. Or better at spotting the good ideas than writing them, and that's OK too. Don't pretend you're the dog's bollocks, ignore things, or take credit for other people's ideas. Everyone you work with will secretly hate you. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Scare yourself every day. If you're reaching every goal and you're setting the wrong ones, be vulnerable, fuck up, learn. Fuck up again, learn some more. It makes you strong and interesting. Don't rest on your laurels of your celebrated campaign from 2006. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Understand it's not always about you. Lose that pitch you thought you had in the bag because life is not fair. Win that pitch, you only won, you were only on as the wild card because your team were on fire. Get a brilliant piece of work out because your client was great. Give people the credit they deserve and say thank you. Don't be a dick. Never compromise your ethics. A principle isn't a principle until you lose money on it. The knot in your stomach telling you something, it's telling you something and you need to listen. You all have your own moral compass, but you know in your gut when you're doing the wrong thing. You know when you've crossed that line, stop, leave, set up your own thing or just speak up. Please don't be a dick. Don't make advertising that means nothing. Nothing to your client's business, nothing to you creatively, and nothing to its audience. Don't make shit to add to the world of shit. Don't do it for the money or because it fills a media plan. It will destroy your soul and your client's value. Don't be a dick. Unlock bravery in others. Give your team as much responsibility as they can handle and then some. Support them when they fuck up. Teach them everything they don't know and learn something back too. Make everyone in your agency a rock star, not just yourself. Don't be a dick. Be a rainmaker. Build a culture of creativity and trust. Set a vision for the future with the people you work with. Make stuff happen. Be an open door. Collaborate. Inspire a little bit more bravery in everyone you meet. Don't be a dick. Trust yourself. Have an opinion. Let go of the self-doubt. You're certainly not the best, but you're not here by accident either. You won't be found out as a fraud. Make decisions, anything is better than being in limbo. Do the hard things first and create some space to make work better. Don't be a dick. Make brave work. Not work that's measured on awards, but work that creates change. Not ads for your own gratification, but things that move people to action. Things of value, things that make life better, funny, easier, more joyful, more interesting, more curious, more clear, more simple. Don't be a dick. Be human. Don't put something out into the world that stereotypes, objectifies, debases just for the sake of a smirk or a cheap gag. You are responsible for setting the vision of the future for others. What they aspire to, who they admire. Don't make people feel ugly, worthless or empty for the sake of trying to fill that hole with the product. Don't be a dick. Um, I'd love you all to leave here this evening a little braver, trusting in yourself a bit more sharing, working with compassion, calling out the alpha behaviour when you see it. You just need to say it as you see it. Don't be a dick. Thank you.